Welcome to the Swimming From Home talk show. I'm here with Ryan Murphy. What's um, up, man? How are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We, we both got our morning coffee here. So, uh, so cheers to that. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. It's seriously like, how weird is it to not be able to just go to a coffee shop now? Yeah. I, so honestly, I don't usually, I don't usually drink this much coffee. I mean, I've, <laughs> I've been putting down a serious <laughs> amount of coffee compared to my, compared to my normal, like I'll wake up and it's just automatically two cups. Like, <laughs> and then I'll probably have another later in the day. So yeah, yeah my, my coffee intake is something that has definitely, uh, definitely spiked in this. Right. Just cause there's nothing else to do. Right. It's like, why not? I, honestly, I, well, I mean, I, I think it's probably better to, to boredom coffee drink than the boredom cookie eat. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it's, it's really one or the other for me. So I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to stay on the uh, on the coffee side of that. Yeah, I feel like that's um, that happens when we go home for the holidays. Like my mom will just start making pots of coffee and be like, "You want coffee? You want coffee? You want?" Coffee? We're like, "Okay, yeah." And then like two and a half cups later, we're like, "What happened?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's like you're not usually actually doing anything. Like it's right. just, <laughs> you're just like, sitting at home. chilling around the couch, like <laughs> catching up. Yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah, I, I feel the same way. I've got this like total like reserves, like extra energy all the, all the time. <laughs> so like I, I can't really uh I can't really get rid of it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just talking all the time <laughs> with this uh with this coffee rush. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So you you are at home for at least the last couple of days, right? Yeah, yeah. So god, time is moving so slow. Um I don't even know what day it is now, but yeah, I, yes, I've, I've been here. I, I've been here for, for a couple of days. So it's been nice. Um, I mean, I luckily I, I, I traveled, I mean, I didn't travel at a good time, but, but I traveled, um, before, like, I, I felt like things escalated to a point that I, that I wouldn't feel comfortable. Yeah. Um, but it, but it's been great to be home. Like great to see my family, my parents. I haven't been home in a year and a half. So, so this is something that's, uh, yeah, it, it's been nice to, to just be here and like totally relax in these, uh, in these past couple of days, past couple of weeks. Yeah, definitely. Are, so what, what was the situation like? I'm, I mean, I know I've talked to a few other people who are in a, in a similar boat, but I think you were at the OT, you went to OTC from Des Moines and mm -hmm. then you were there when they were like, all right, you got to leave. Um, can you, can you walk me through that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was really a whirlwind. Um, so coming off Des Moines, yeah, we went up to, to OTC. Like we do that every year. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so that was kind of just like par for the course. Felt like every every day, every hour, things started to escalate while we were out there. And and so like the the Cal group of guys, I, I feel like we we've got a lot of guys that follow the news and and are really up to date on, on their stuff. And so, so mm -hmm. every, every lunch, every dinner, we'd just be talking about the situation. And um, it, it, we were, we were kind of projecting where this thing was going to go, which is a totally unhealthy thing to do. <laughs> but, and it, it really like consumed a lot of our thoughts, but, uh, but that's what we were doing. It, it got to the point where, I mean, we, we did our practice on Tuesday. It was a really, really hard practice. Um, and, and that was like midday at like 8 PM that night. Um, I got a call from Dave and he was like, all right, the, the Colorado governor is, is going to shut down the, the training facilities there. So you guys got to get out. Um, so, so literally like Celisgar, Norman and, uh, and Tom packed within like 20 minutes, they were out of there. Uh, <laughs> I, I was like, I mean, like, I don't feel like it's, that big of a rush to get out of here. So, uh, so I waited till like 6 a.m. the next morning. Uh, um, but then then I was out of there early Wednesday morning, went back to Cal. And at, at that point, like nothing, like no major decisions had had been made. You know, like the, the Olympics were, were still going on. And so like I was really just, and I think our entire group was really in the mindset of like, all right, we're going to figure out a way, you know, like this, yeah. this situation is not ideal, but like, we're going to figure out a way to, to make the most of it. And we're gonna, 
we're going to approach the calendar as it's currently set. And, and so that's, that's kind of what we did when, when we got back to Berkeley. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> I mean, I, can you, can you, can you kind of keep it going? So like once you got yeah. back to Berkeley, you, you know, obviously the, the Olympic, can you take me up to the Olympic postponement and kind of what, what you guys' approach was to that and then kind of your initial reaction? Yeah. Yeah. So, so we kept on, uh, you know, we were doing what we could, like it yeah. was, it was really like we were, we were getting an email every night from Dave and we're, we were getting a one day schedule just because everything, <laughs> everything was progressing so quick. And like he was having, I mean, Dave through all of this has just been insane. Like he's, he's had so many meetings cause he's got all of like the, the Cal staff. So he's got his Cal athletic department Mm -hmm. talking with the Cal Chancellor, the city of Berkeley, University Health Services, having me involve them uh, yeah. just to see like what is allowed, what is safe for, for us in the community. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we'd get an email every night, uh, just him kind of giving like his cliff notes on, on those meetings, what we were going to do the next day, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and kind of go from there. So it was, it was, it was day to day really kind of like jumping around. Like some days we had access to, to our pool at Cal. Some days we had to go off campus um, to, to other places. Some days we didn't have a pool. And so like, he was like, okay, you're gonna work out in your garage, do it, do what you can in, in the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. Don't leave your home though. <laughs> and, and so, uh, yeah, so we, we had to get a little bit creative with, with some of the dry land stuff, um, but that was, that we, that took us through Monday night. Um, the Olympic decision came down on Tuesday. So, so Dave actually called again that, that Monday night and he was like, all right, it's, it's inevitable. Like the, the Olympics are going to be postponed. So um, I, I want you to take a week or two off and, and then we're going to, you know, hopefully we get a little bit of clarity on the schedule. We had come up with a plan and then we're going to get back into it. So, I mean, that, that was, that was tough to hear. Um, Especially in like there was, I mean, there was no certainty that the Olympics were going to be postponed when, when Dave made that call. Right. Um, so, so that was a little bit of like mixed emotions. Like on one side, I was like, okay, like I can, I can do this. Like I can still be ready. Um, on, on another side, I was like, we, we have to do this. This is, this is the right thing to do. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think, you know, as, as the official postponement came down I was like I could totally let go of that competitive um uh, like that competitive mindset that I was that I was locked in like I, I could do it and yeah. uh <laughs> I really really was on board with it you know like this is this is 100% the right thing we to do we've got to we've got to support the medical community and, and make sure that that we're keeping everyone safe so it's it's really been a, a range of emotions throughout throughout the whole thing yeah no kidding. I mean, yeah, especially sorry, I, went off, I went off on a, on a little tangent there. <laughs> oh no! I mean, that's that's what people need right now is tangents. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, what are your thoughts? What were what were your emotions through all of it? Um, I think I think pretty early on, um, I was hearing that after NC two A's were canceled, uh, I was hearing that the Olympics, like we're going to be postponed. Um, mm -hmm. Just that's what people kind of thought. And that is what made sense to me because, you know, the, the, the pattern of this is like, it wasn't going to be over in a couple of weeks. It was going to be months or, mm -hmm. you know, I, it was going to be months, however many months that was. And so it was like, it didn't make sense, you know, especially for us, right. For swimmers, it's like, you can't, if, if people are out a month, you can't like expect to host trials two months later or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, especially as many, as many said in March, when it's like March, April, that's like the critical time of the year for them to kind of like get that last little bit of training in. Um, so I, I mean, I, you know, obviously I don't have like stake in the Olympics as an athlete, so it was that wasn't a huge emotional hit for me, but I certainly feel, I mean, that talking to everyone and and hearing, you know, 
how how much everyone puts into an Olympic year and then be like, we have to do that again. Um, mm-hmm. That sounds hard. <clears throat> and that's yeah. kind yeah. of a bummer. I think that's fair. But I mean, everyone's got an impact. Like, like Swim Swam's got an impact. <clears throat> We've got an impact. Yeah, like everyone's everyone's making some some sort of sacrifice. So I like, yeah, I, I think at, at this point, like I've realized that 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 my sacrifice, like uh, the the swimmer's sacrifice, is is just relatively small compared to you know someone, you know, someone like my sister who who works right. like she works at. <laughs> works at a hospital she's a she's a physical therapist but she works at a hospital um mm-hmm. and and she's a lot of her coworkers are now screening people for coronavirus um and so like that's i mean that that's a big that's a big sacrifice that's a big risk uh, yeah. and so like the our, our sacrifice uh, is is relatively small uh comparative that doesn't mean that you know, that we don't have a sacrifice because our we definitely do and, and that's <coughs> But yeah. uh, but relative, it's it's just a little bit, just a little bit less. Right. I, yeah. I mean, I think someone I talked to said, you know, everyone's going to have a reaction to this, and that's okay. It's like it's important to recognize your reaction and to and to give it, um, you know, like to to really say like this is how I feel, and and like that's that's okay to be sad no matter what perspective you're coming from. But then mm-hmm. someone else, I think it might have been. Jack Spitzer, but someone else I was talking to was um, saying it's like, you know, so many people are like consumed in sports, whether they're athletes or fans or whatever. It's like they love sports and like that's their life. And then when when stuff really hits the fan like it does now, the first thing to go is sports. It's just like, no, you're like, that's it. You're done. Get out. We, we, need, to, we need to take care of our community, and which, is, which is very <laughs> odd. <laughs> It it is. I mean, and like, when and everyone's at home, you know, like, like sports is is definitely like my main form of of entertainment. Uh, yeah. So it was like the other night, like I was watching like the 1992 Elite Eight uh, Duke <laughs> versus I can't remember who they were playing, but it was like Christian Leitner. Like, oh my goodness, they're uh, they're they're definitely hurting for content right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I um yeah, someone was saying it's like they've just been watching sports reruns and like 30 for 30s and like you know, yeah, like you get on YouTube and there's just like all these replays. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's great. It, it, it's totally crazy. But I mean, I am stoked. So ESPN's doing that uh they're releasing that Michael Jordan documentary in uh in mid-April now. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be sick. I haven't heard about this. Please tell me more. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a, and I'm I'm just telling you what I what I've seen from the ad. <laughs> so uh-huh. It's like a it's like a ten part. I think it's twenty hour documentary oh on on Michael Jordan's last season with the Bulls, which is, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be epic, dude. Like yeah, I, I'm I'm so stoked for that. Like I it that that news came down. I think it was like two days ago. Okay. So like me and all my friends are like, <clears throat> like all right, like virtual watch party. Like, <laughs> like we're we're ready for that. Like that's gonna be, that's gonna be a nice little boost to the uh, to the sports crowd in this time. Yeah, definitely. Um, speaking of new series, have you started Tiger King yet? I, I finished Tiger King. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that's wild. <laughs> I mean, like. Carol's Carol's a psychopath. Joe is is is. I mean, he's also a psychopath. <laughs> um, I thought. I mean, that Howard that Howard guy who's now married to Carol. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel for him. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm part of the uh, I'm part of the Carol did it crowd. I you know? I agree. <laughs> yeah, I think. I, I'm curious to see how that. Uh, <laughs> how the Don case closes with, with Carol. Seriously. Uh, but, uh, and also she's, how far away from you are, or how far it, is she? she was Tampa. You? I think, yeah, I think she's Tampa. So okay. we are, uh, we're Jacksonville, which is like, I haven't driven to Tampa in so long. That's probably like five <clears throat> hours drive. Oh, okay. Wow. So that's pretty far. 
Yeah, but apparently there's someone in Jacksonville that like he wasn't he wasn't in the documentary at all. Oh, like, okay. He's got he's got like some uh, he's got some cats and <laughs> and uh, and so like now there there there's kind of like an investigation on that guy and oh, he's wow. like they they asked him for a quote and he was like he's like look like taking care of tigers is is sun up to sundown like i don't have time to watch tv i don't know what this tiger king thing is <laughs> ask me about <laughs> um but like yeah i mean that that was that was a pretty sketchy documentary for sure i was i was so shocked because especially we had watched it right after we watched the hbo series mcmillions mm-hmm. um, i haven't seen that I mean, it's about the like the FBI case where they found out that the monop- the McDonald's monopoly game was rigged, like mm-hmm. for years and years and years. Um, mm-hmm. But like comparatively, yeah, like I was amazed at how much they got. Like Carol and Joe and like um, Doc, the other guy who's in Florida. Like yeah. everyone, just oh yeah, come on in, like film everything, you know. I, yeah. Yeah, I know. I was also confused with that. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't really, I don't really get it. It's like, were they just thinking like any PR is good PR? Yeah. It's I, like, yeah. <laughs> like, Joe, you're in jail. Like, <laughs> and sorry, like, we got to put a disclaimer about all the spoilers we're giving away here. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I should have said that two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Dude, yeah, that was that was pretty gnarly. Like, I, I've, so I watched that, and then I, this is this is bad, and and I wouldn't recommend doing it because I, I feel like it's it's probably raised my anxiety levels a little bit. But I, <laughs> yeah. I watched, uh, I rewatched I Am Legend, Contagion, World War Z. <laughs> so yeah. like I I've been like kind of I've been kind of like just staying on on theme here. <laughs> very I, on theme my movie choice and like yeah it's 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 a, it's not the best idea <laughs> <laughs> i oh i am legend was a good one i haven't i i saw stuff about contagion but i've actually never seen it but i was like maybe this is a good time to watch it and then i was like probably not <laughs> that one all right so i would re- if you're gonna watch i mean if you're gonna watch one of them i'd recommend i am legend uh-huh contagion like contagion just felt like a little too realistic yeah <laughs> so like that was just like uh, like that just kind of put me off a little bit where yeah. i am legend i mean i am legend is that that's a, that's a good movie just just yeah. overall. right and a little you know we're we'll, we'll get there in 20 years but not yet <laughs> oh what a dude you never know you never know with how yeah. fast things but that's I don't I don't mean to scare people. I'm I'm an optimist in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta consume content somehow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, so what else have you been doing to stay busy? Like what what's your workout plan look like? Yeah, so honestly when like when that uh, when the Olympic decision came down, that was that was really like closure to my to my season. Um, yeah. so not not the way I'm used to closure, uh, but but that that's okay. Uh, so I've I've been on break. Like I I did do a workout yesterday, but like I did, like it was really like cookie cutter, pretty easy stuff. So yeah. and, and since I'm now out of shape, that I'm pretty sore from that. So that was <laughs> pretty general. Like literally, like just lunges around the the cul de sac, um, mm-hmm. and then doing like a little push up ladder, squat ladder. Um, some abs and and that was that was and then I did like pull-ups on on the garage but okay nice. that was that was really it so like nothing nothing too crazy like I'm I'm gonna start getting a little bit more creative with it um but I I can't see myself ever running so that that's kind of where I draw the line like I just <laughs> I, I I I can't I can't run like I'll I I do one run a year and uh <laughs> And after that run, like my, my ankles are like three times the size they normally are yeah. every single time. <laughs> like, is it on Thanksgiving? Just... No, no. Like I'll usually, uh, so, so my girlfriend's a big runner. Okay. Uh, like she, so she qualified for, for Boston on her first marathon. <laughs> That's 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, so she's like an okay runner. <laughs> Which is wild. Like she, she, uh, she rode yeah. in college. And, uh, okay. and like the, the people that, that row or do crew, mm-hmm. uh, they're just aerobic freaks. And so she just like, she's like, oh yeah, like I've started to pick up running. She did her first half marathon in Portland and she, okay. she won. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then, and then she did, uh, she did a, a marathon in Napa and, uh, she went, I think she went three eleven, which is, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that average is under under seven minute miles. Yeah. But, uh, oh and so and so she will make me run once a year. And like <laughs> I I had to like negotiate that down. But she'll make me run once a year. And it's not like it's not like we're like running slow because she's like yeah. free. <laughs> um so yeah, so I've got to like kind of hustle for like a basically a three to five mile run. Oh um, man. Do you make her swim once a year? Uh, I actually, I don't. She, she likes swimming. Like she wants to start doing uh, triathlons. Okay. <clears throat> but I, I don't, I don't make her swim. Uh, no, no. Cause I don't, I mean, honestly, like I don't really swim. Um, I don't really swim recreationally. You know, <laughs> so, like I spent, so, I spend so much time like trying to, trying to like perfect this and like be like, at the absolute best I could be that like, yeah, I just don't, I just don't really, <laughs> swim. I just don't really swim in my free time. Like I, right. <laughs> I like to do other stuff in my free time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember why it was the same way, like, especially in high school and college, like if anyone would be like, Oh, we're going to like a pool party or something. He'd be like, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's different. I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, if it's like a, a celebration, uh, something like that, I, I, I can get behind that. Yeah. And, it, and like the like the in pool uh, basketball hoops, like I, I love <laughs> in pool water or in in pool volleyball. Love all that stuff. But yeah, yeah, to actually just swim in laps back and forth. That's not a, that's not my first choice of yeah. a, of a <laughs> recreational activity. That makes sense. Um, yeah, everyone I've talked to has said yeah i can't run and if anyone says they're running they're a liar <laughs> yeah. i don't i don't know if i'll go that far i just think uh for me it's like i mean I've, i'm i'm pretty broad on the top end so like that's just that's like, like a lot of weight you know like like yeah, 200 pounds impact. doesn't feel good on the ankles uh <laughs> And so, and my ankles are pretty small and pretty flexible anyway. So like, I'll just end up like, even if I'm running on like pavement, like I'll just end up being like a huge klutz and like my ankle will just like roll and it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not fun. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I just stay away from running. That totally makes sense. Um, ha, have you picked up any new active, you know, it's like you said, you said you're drinking two and a half cups of coffee because because it's like, what else? Have you picked up any new hobbies? Um, th- yeah, just because you have the time. <clears throat> so I was, I mean, right after. Uh, so I guess this was last week. I was talking to to Jack Roach and Aaron Pierce a lot. So like they're okay. uh, they're together. I don't know why why they're together, but they're together in in Virginia right now. Um, <laughs> sure. And, like I don't know. I don't know how well you know Aaron, uh, but Aaron was like asking me like stuff I'm interested in and, and a lot of the stuff I'm interested in is kind of like toast right now so like I'm interested <laughs> in, in sports and I'm, I'm on, honestly like I'm kind of kind of a nerd like I'm interested in business the stock market right uh, so I, I was going through all those things and he was like he was like but like say all those things are gone like like what are you interested in <laughs> yeah and I'm like I mean I guess people you know so like uh-huh. I, I've been on the phone a bunch um, but then he kept on pressing me and I'm like, I'm like, dude, like, I wish, I wish I could say I was into like carpentry or something, but like, that's, <laughs> that's not me, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. so I, I've honestly been like, I've been on the phone a bunch, just like talking to people. Um, I think that's also something that's been like pretty, pretty cool in all this is like, we've just got like a really, we've got a really good community in, in USA swimming, like the, the national team athletes are I mean, we're all going through the same sort of emotions and, uh, and we're really picking each other up through this. So, so I've loved like 
reconnecting with, with some people that I don't talk to as much on the national team or, or extending that to like people I went to school with. Um, so, so I've been on the phone like, like a ton, like I would say like 10 times as much as I normally am on the phone. I'm, I'm on the phone. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's, I honestly, I feel like that's kind of a hobby. Nice. I mean, that's great. Uh, so a final question, um, ha- has this given you any time to reflect, you know, just kind of maybe sit with yourself and muddle through, I don't know, anything swimming related, non swimming related, you know, kind of given some clarity to you on <clears throat> any given topic. Yeah, I think mostly on like the, <clears throat> like, on like the mental slash emotional side, you know, like I think, at this point, I, I've really learned that it's that it's okay and it's also normal to be able to to hold two conflicting emotions at once. You know, so like you can be like grateful that that the IOC made made the correct decision here and, and is doing their part to to protect public health. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you could be disappointed that you didn't get to perform when you wanted to perform. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think that's something that I, that I've learned through all of this. And like, luckily we still get to perform. It's just a year later. Um, but I, I think now more than ever, I've, I've realized that, that you really, you really do have like a, a competitor personality and a, and a human being personality. And I think that's something that's, that's really cool. And I, and I feel like in this time I've learned how to kind of go back and forth because I, I've been forced to, uh, so I, I think that's something that that's really interesting, and I think there's a there's a ton of personal growth that that is happening for me, like in the moment, in this time, like recognizing those emotions and and recognizing that you can be both like a a very compassionate human being and also be like a very relentless competitor. Yeah. Uh, so so I think that's something that that I've noticed in this time that that I find uh, that I find super interesting. How about you? Um, man, yeah, I, I think um, <clears throat> in terms of my working out, I, you know, I try to work out six days a week and sometimes I, I don't like training. That's why I, yeah, I don't like training. I, I like yeah. being fit. <laughs> and I think, um, you know, being, being around competitive athletes is my job doesn't help that. Um, because I'm always like, Oh, I could go a little more. I could go a little more. And I think, you know, um, from a physical perspective, it's like, I've been doing, I've been trying to do more yoga and stretching as like a workout. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Um, just kind of, you know, because we have to stay in home, just trying to move more instead of like really pushing it. Um, I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed just kind of moving and making different shapes with my body and you know kind of just giving it space to do its own thing without like really breaking a substantial sweat has been that's been cool for me I think um I've been doing like I've kept a gratitude journal for quite a while and that's something that I've I've been grateful for throughout this process is just kind of that gives me a daily reflection and that gives me um you know let's let gives me the opportunity to to reflect on what i've what i'm grateful for that day and what i what i the privileges i have that day you know because especially in a time like now not everything is a given yeah yeah i like that i like the gratitude journal because it like it's it's true. I think we're, uh, I mean, we're both fortunate in this, in this scenario. And so, I, I mean, I think, I think we kind of touched on earlier, like everyone's sacrificing a little bit right yeah. now. And so I think just, yeah, focusing on the positives, focusing on your attitude. I, I like that a lot. Yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, well, cool. Any, any closing thoughts you've got? Um, yeah. I, I mean, I guess, I mean, this is, this is pretty, um, this is tough. I, I think it's tough for, for everyone. It, this is unprecedented for everyone. And so I like, kind of what, what you were saying, like 
keep your focus on on your attitude uh keep your focus on the things you can control you can you can have a lot of self improvement in this time whether that be socially um personally like mentally physically so, so i think that you can you know take take joy in in those minor victories and and do your part like feel proud that you're that you're helping your community stay stay safe uh so so i, I think those are that's kind of jumbled, but, but I think those are kind of my, my general closing thoughts. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks so much for your time, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thanks a lot for having me, man. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy uh, the coffee. <laughs> you too. <laughs>